Hello everybody and welcome back to Blacksmith of the Sand Kingdom with me, Dark Mazda, for Dark Mazda Series Gaming. In the last episode we were continuing with the story and we were continuing along the outer suburbs, collecting more items in order to make more items for our shop. Now, to progress the story we need to sell more items in our shop. So that we can uh, increase the shop level and that is the only um, requirement we need at the moment so we're going to continue from that point now so first off we're going to head to the tavern ah welcome make yourself at home so let's get everybody full up and of course we don't have as much money as we did before because we upgraded everybody's skills but luckily we can heal everybody all right are there any requests here there's no requests um let's take a look at our workshop and see what we can display so get more customers with those so we want to change over and put loads of copper items on. So we need to go and collect some more copper. So we're going to go uh, go ahead and just jump back into the outer suburbs. Do we have exploration skip? We shouldn't waste it, I don't think. So let's just um, do a run of this dungeon.
Looks like we'll be leveling up this this run as well.
Right, so we're going back to the town. Let's take a look. Um, should we go to the infirmary? Yeah, let's get everybody back to full health. And then let's head into the arena. Right, so we can't actually should go into any other leagues at the moment because we haven't ventured to the next uh, dungeon I guess so okay we'll, we'll just leave that for now uh, we'll go to the workshop right let's create a load of copper
<laughs> See what we've got displayed anyway. Copper armor, short spear. I think we should go for a <laughs> copper ring as well. Copper bracelet, there we go. Make some tanned leather. Let's display some items. We'll change the mage stuff. Oh, actually, wait there. Let's remove. And we will put the copper bracelet on. Right, well, that hasn't booked anything. We'll get rid of that. Um, so we've got copper helmet plus. Get more customers, that's good. That's what we want. Um, see if uh, this crystal ring's gonna make anything any better. Not for him it's not. I 
magic attack and magic defense. Yeah, that's good. Um, oh. that we've got. Got more copper art, that's good. Right, let's uh, just open the shop and hopefully we get enough sales to increase our rank. Right, 5,851 is what we need. As soon as there's no request, we'll just um, open up the shop again, but we'll make sure we have the food. There we go. Open the workshop, and let's uh, just do this again. We'll open the shop. That's enough. Oh wow. There we go, all of those complete. So we've ranked up just what we needed. Get some more requests from the Adventurers Guild as well. So we need to make more of whatever we've got here. Right, uh, let's take a look at the tavern. Almost levelled up by doing absolutely nothing. Let's have a look at the item shop to see what we can buy. iron ore now. Let's have a look at the Adventurers Guild. Ah, it's you. You came at a good time. Why is that? The army's invasion plan was a success in securing the mountain range and they found a new dungeon for adventurers. Seems to be an ancient dwarven mine. They say it's not currently in use and has huge amounts of useful materials. That sounds great. I will only permit capable adventurers to go there, but don't worry, I'd say you're ready. The first invasion has unlocked a new dungeon. You can now go to the mines dungeon. You've unlocked hard mode for the suburbs dungeon. Alright, oh, okay. Let's see what the requests are. Patrol request three. Um, get to reach mines five. Okay, well, that's definitely what we're going to do. We need to do that eventually anyway. Um, let's see. Beast meat, iron frying pan. So we're just going to accept all of these. 
more cheese, thick milk from goats in the mines. Okay. I think we get all of these from the mines. That's a yes. Bomb making. Ice core and quartz. Ice cores from aqua slimes and rock golems. Kill eight skeletons. And a carpenter's request. Metal hammer and a saw. New items here. Guessing he's got new books now. Wow. Um, beginner woodworking. Beginner cloth. Leather working. Beginner blade smithing. Wow, we've got quite a lot here. I think this is what we need. them as they are and let's go on our adventure and we'll go to the mines required level 10 required level 10 right let's go to the mines anyway let's uh, step in and see what we're going to be facing up against so this is a mine built by dwarves supposed to be really old but the gallery is still intact and it seems pretty sturdy. And it's cool down here. The chilly air is kind of refreshing. That's a lot of XP. Right, which way are we going first then? I guess we're going this way. Cough drop.
We'll just keep gathering all of these items. Suits me just fine. They're weak against lightning, so that's good. Thank you. 
I choose? Go down over.
right, so there's the next section. So we went the wrong way. Let's have a look over here and see what we find. Oh, there's actually another area there as well. And another area here as well. well. Let's go up first. Mine's three. Right, so we need to use a portion. We don't have any, unfortunately. That's a shame. So we need some MP for Erica. because we've got that. We'll go this way first. A lot of different ways we can go. Have a good look around. See where this leads. 
This mines four. This should be as far as I need to go. Nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. Should report back to the guild later. So it mines five there. Okay. Haunted treasure chest. Retreating from this. Let's nick some go gold off us. Well, that was nasty. And killed Dana. Get to can't refight with them now. All right, let's go back. Get back to the town. The sun's so bright. Maybe it's because I was in the dark for so long. Bump. Blonde man. Ouch! Watch where you're going, boy. I was. You bumped into me. I was standing still. It's common sense to walk around people, you know. Common sense? Peasants like you should move out of my way. Why must a noble such as I afford courtesy to you? Lord Balthazar, we must hurry. The war meeting is about to commence. <sighs> Safe by the bell, boy. If I wasn't in a rush, you'd be... Lord Balthazar, the meeting, I know, I'm coming. I will remember your peasant face, boy. You will rue your insolent words. What's his problem? He's not someone you want to make enemies with. Ah, Master Egan. do you know that man? He said something about being a noble. That was Balthazar, army general and son of the Groschult army uh, family. A distinguished noble family. As you just witnessed, he's a real piece of work. I've never heard anything nice about him at all. I guess I shouldn't have spoken to a general that way, huh? Seeing as my shop deals with the army a lot. I'm sure it was just a harsh parting remark. 
If it wasn't really your fault, then he shouldn't do anything. I hope so. Anyway, Master Aegon, did you just come out of the tavern? Aren't you on duty right now? What, what are you accusing me of? <coughs> I was uh, delivering something to Carmella. The guildmaster makes deliveries. Y yeah, when we're short-handed. So, so busy. See ya. So, there we go. Let's go and hand in the requests that we can hand in. Right, so we can complete this as well. We can now use the Elementalist class. Here's a request from Carmella at the tavern. For that she needs harvest and sickles and oak barrels. Carmella's beverage is a second to none. Bring me some ale. That's what I say every time I walk in and take a seat. Harvest and sickles and oak barrels. A blacksmith like you should have no problem preparing them, right? Yeah, why not? That's whip delivery, tamer whips. Can't fathom what you might want them for. There are some things in this world that are best left unknown. Horik at the item shop. He wants the materials to enhance his mana portions. He needs curious water and he also needs iron pots. Yeah, why not? Right. Iron frying pan, iron pots. So five iron pots, ten iron pots. Right. Ouch. What, what happened? To my back, I was trying to carry a huge pile of papers. Papers heavier than it looks. How could anything possibly be too heavy with muscles like those? The back's different, trust me. Of course, my arms alone could lift the weight easily, but it just finds its way to the lower back. In my case, the reason I stopped adventuring was because I hurt my back. It's hard to imagine you actually adventuring. Well, I did once upon a time. I was one of the best at the time too. But no magic or medicine could cure my back. When I was at my wit's end, knowing I could never adventure again, I was asked to help with guild management. Thought it wouldn't be my cup of tea at first. But my experiences really helped me get into it, and voila, I became the Guildmaster. Well, I'd be lying if I said I didn't have any regrets, but I am glad I wound up where I am now. Besides, now I can train the next generation. Yeah, I wouldn't want anyone else to be my Guildmaster. Right. Let's go to the workshop. Oh, actually... Let's heal up. Welcome. Have you come to pray? I have. Oh yeah, I heard from Master Aegon. You were childhood friends with my father too, weren't you? Ulrich, Aegon and I were practically inseparable as kids. I'm sure we've had this conversation before. What was my father like when he was young? Well, he had a strong sense of justice and spoke out against anything he thought was wrong. I remember him standing up for the other kids against bullies much older than him. Though Aegon and I sometimes got involved and took a couple of beatings, but Ulrich would stand up to anything. I never knew that about my father. Though I was the one who involved the teachers and got most of the bullies their just desserts. <laughs> right, treatment. Treat all sorted. Right, let's pop to the workshop. Oh, actually. You said before that you studied alchemy to learn how to make gold, right? Did I? Don't remember telling you that, but 
Yeah, I did. I majored in alchemy at the National Academy of Magic. I don't mean to brag, but my results were outstanding. That sounds like bragging to me. I should have a textbook around here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Textbook on combat techniques. Looks brand new. Yeah, I wasn't all that interested in it. Content bored me near to death. Hmm, guess it could be useful for you. Give it a read. You learned the Mystic Cross Formation. Now I've passed the knowledge of this textbook on, its mission is complete. I was scared I'd never get to pass it on. If you'd studied it back then, you would have fulfilled it much sooner. Right, let's take a look at the books. Right, well we've got the ones that we need, I think. Um, we need that for one of our... Right, we'll pick that one up, so we'll do some better harvests as well. Right, let's take a look at the workshop. I'm back. Welcome back. How were the mines? So much awe. No wonder the dwarfs dug that place. It was like a blacksmith's paradise. Nice. Then I shall teach you how to use more materials. Pity taught you how to process new materials. You can now make the material iron. Thank you, Pity. Now I can try making even more things. No worries. I should teach you new things every now and then. Uh, may have been a blacksmith's paradise, but it wasn't easy as an adventurer. The enemies there were the strongest I've faced yet. Are you upgrading your equipment properly? Ulrich used to customise some of his pieces to suit each adventurer better. Like upgrading a wizard's equipment with defence runes, or a fighter's equipment with agility runes. Ah, upgrading. Cover your weak points, boost your strengths, or upgrade a range of effects. Knowing how to upgrade is a true test of skill. Many adventurers need upgraded equipment, so it might be a good idea to use unneeded runes to upgrade equipment for sale here in the shop. Just beware that it can be a time-consuming process. I see, so just crafting equipment isn't enough. I'll do my best to upgrade some of my stock. So, let's see. Let's create... We need some iron pots, so I'm guessing we need to finish the copper pots. Um, yeah, so iron pot. So we need five of those. Iron, oak stick, wool yarn. Right, 
hand leather. Let's have a look. Right, let's pop back to the Adventurers Guild and see what we can hand in. Pretty much everything. So... You can never have too much healing. It's the ironclad rule for survival in battle. Suppose it's his fault for getting too drunk. It's our moral duty to tell him to drink responsibly. Well done, thanks for your hard work. <laughs> Look forward to trying out her new batch. Well done, thanks for your hard work. MP management is essential. Run out of MP at the wrong time could mean the end. Yep, I know that one for certain. Well done, thanks for your hard work. I'll get them delivered to Hannah at the arena. And what's this? There's a strange phenomenon in the quarry in the mines. Investigate this phenomenon. Okay. Something about the mines being plagued by a strange phenomenon. Strange phenomenon? A rock that moves on its own. It's caused no harm as of yet, but it's freaking out the miners and they can't work because of it. Couldn't believe it at first, but I'm sure they're not lying. There have been many sightings of it in the quarry. Go there and investigate what's really going on. Keep in mind that this request can't be cancelled. Okay, so what else are we doing here? We need iron frying pan and a tamer whip. So let's have a look. Tamer whip. I think I need another book from the item shop. Ah, leather whip, yeah. I think I'll just buy all of these then. leather now. Iron frying pan. Right, so we'll get the iron frying pans on the go. Okay. 
five of these orc stick and iron. Right, let's equip some new equipment to ours. Right, so we need to upgrade this. Let's create some th Right, let's go and hand in this next quest.
Meat making meat. You'll need plenty of meat if you want muscles like mine. So we just need to get kill some skeletons and make some more tamer whips. Investigate the moving boulder. I think we'll leave the arena for another time. So let's just open up the shop. And let's see how our sales go. Wow, we made a hell of a lot there. So we need 43,322 gold in sales more. Right. That's a lot of sales we need. So there we go guys. Thank you very much for joining me on this episode of Blacksmith of the Sun Kingdom. We have progressed the story quite a lot this time. Um, we did delve into the suburbs again and we unlocked a new dungeon, the Dwarven Mines. And we have been ac got access to new materials, new crafting recipes and we have managed to get a lot more requests uh, on the go so we still need to fully explore the dwarven mines and we also need to start the arena quests um, for the iron cup and um, we left it this time because we've had quite a long episode so far give me a like and a sub if you are enjoying the game so far and until next time guys that's it from me and I will see you on the flip side.